Okay, well, I'm just leaving the... Just Device leaving connected. the ferry now. And... Uh, <laughs> my bloody bike fell over, didn't it? Um, anyway... Uh, and it's raining. Now, which way do I go? Well, it's 2.30 now in the afternoon. I'm leaving Wallaroo. And... Um, I've got 135 k's to go, so all things being equal, that should take me no more than two and a half hours, I'm guessing. Uh, so 2.30, so that should see me in at 5 p.m. at um, Gawla, where I'm headed to the caravan park. I've got a cabin booked at the caravan park. There's a heck of a wind blowing and at some point I think I might be riding into the teeth of it. I hope not. Recording. Well, there's a lot of rain to the south of me that I can see here um, and I'm heading towards it. However, um, I've got a, a left turn 15 kilometers uh, from here. No, it all comes down to whether that rain is 15 kilometers away or 5 kilometers away. And I'm not going to bet on this because I know how things go. So well, as you can see, it's a miserable day and um, I'm on my way today to... Device connected. I'm on my way today to Kingston and South Australia. Uh, this is Gawla. Um, what a nice place. Um, so it's uh, it's just north of um, let me turn my choke off here. It's just north of Adelaide. Yeah, I think I'm likely to ride in a lot of rain. That's for sure. It's not looking encouraging the weather. So I just got to grin and bear it. That's the way it is with motorcycling. Uh, sometimes you're the windshield. Sometimes you're the bug. And uh, I know what way around it is today. On the windshield, of course. <laughs> yeah, like hell I am. Um, anyway, we deal with it. We just deal with it. Well, the scenery out here is just beautiful. Um, I've got to say that. And. Um, so I'm kind of to the west, no, to the east, and a little bit south of Gawla now. And um, um, I'm not sure if this is the Barossa or whatever, Adelaide Hills, I don't know what region this is, as far as wine country is concerned, but it is wine country. And it's just beautiful. There's lots of roos out in the paddocks, grazing, and, um, yeah, and uh, look, it's wet, but it's not bucketing down, so count myself lucky. <coughs> um, and um, I'm still on the lookout for two things. One, a filling station I need to fill up. Don't have to. I've got, I've probably got about a 200 kilometer range still. Um, but you know how it goes. Just do it. And um, so that's the one thing I want to do. And the other thing is I want to get a cup of coffee, of course. So that's my agenda uh, for the next while. As well as staying out of harm's way on these wet roads and in the fog. So I've got a car behind me now with... Of course, it's a grey car. And, and this is... Oh God, this is going to fire me off now. It's a grey car, on a grey road, on a grey day. And do you think they've got their lights on? No. Not a chance. So, they can see, and that's all that matters to them. That's as far as their thoughts go. That's as far as their mental capacity extends. Um, and uh, so, look, it might be a white car, I don't know. But it doesn't matter to me. Um, it's just mind-boggling how stupid people are. Um, how 
There should be a law, this is my view on this, there should be a national law with heavy penalties and points loss that if you need to put your windshield wipers on, you have to have your full headlights on. Not your parking lights, for God's sake, which many people do. Your full beams, uh, not your high beams, but your full headlights. So that people can see you, for God's sake. Recording. <laughs> oh, I've just driven past a, a, a sign to a campground. And the name of the campground is called Rocky Paddock Campground. Now, that's all I need in my life, is to pitch a tent in the rocky paddock. <laughs> um, get rid of the rocks, just call it paddock campground, for God's sake. Um, make it comfortable for people. Rocky paddock campground. It's a bit of a wind blowing. <laughs> rocky paddock campground. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Well, I'm at this lookout um, after quite a bit of a climb and uh, I was going to get my, my pocket two out but I've got all my rain gear on and it's really just gone into the two hard basket. So you're going to have to deal with the side of my helmet here. But it's just a beautiful view out over the, um, over the countryside and uh, the farmlands ahead and all that. So there you go. Recording. Well, I don't know how much you can see of this, if there's water on that lens or not. But anyway, I am currently riding along the uh, South Australia south coast, um, sort of heading, heading east to Kingston and um, uh, southeast maybe. And um, yeah, it's a shitty day, no doubt about that. And uh, it's blowing an absolute gale. Thank goodness most of us coming from behind, although I do get blown around every so often. And um, uh, yeah, I don't know how far I've got, still got to go here. I've got 112 kilometers to go. So yeah, I just got to get on with it because um, there's no point in just uh, hanging around. So I'm going to get going. All right, well, today I'm heading <coughs> from Kingston, South Australia to Port Ferry in Victoria via Mount Gambier. It's, um, it's just gone 7.30 in the morning. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, um, yeah, it's, it's not raining, number one. Uh, number two, it's, um, it's quite uh, pleasant, it's not freezing cold, so those are two good uh, outcomes for today. After yesterday, we are rode in an absolute gale force wind, kind of, from my, it's it sort of coming from my, jeez, uh, all over the show, but mainly from my left, over my left shoulder. Um, but more across me than, in, than with me and um, oh God, it was blowing me all over the road. The roads were wet um, and uh, yeah, it just wasn't a pleasant ride yesterday. But you know, that's what, that's what I signed up for, so you just got to deal with that. Um, and uh, so no wind this morning yet and uh, no rain yet. Uh, I've got a, a, a 330 kilometers to go, so, you know, any weather's possible over that distance. And, um, you know, we'll just see how we progress today. Um, I stayed at the, <coughs> excuse me, I stayed at the, uh, the Big Lobster Motel last night, right next to the Big Lobster. And, um, I just love this um, part of Australian culture. The big prawn, the big banana, the... Oh, geez, there's the big everything around the place. And, um, and uh, it's just a fantastic part of Australian culture that these, these towns um, feature these um, creatures normally. There was the big rock uh, that's now gone. It was near 
I think um, uh, Port Macquarie on the New South Wales um, along the New South Wales coast and uh, and uh, the big rock burnt down some years ago and I don't think it's going to be rebuilt um, it was kind of a, a roadhouse uh, thing that you could stop at and um, under the big rock was a, actually a roadhouse which is probably what contributed to it to it burning down yeah. so no such thing underneath the big lobster it's just a couple of lights under there to light it up at night um, so hopefully it doesn't burn down someday and uh, yeah so that's my day ahead for me um, I'm listening to an audio book called uh, um, something about the friendly spy or something like that anyway it's a very interesting take on um, Kim Philby who obviously was one of the most notorious spies of uh, the 20th century and um, a very interesting listen this book and uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it so that's what I'm going to be tuning into as soon as I've done uh, this recording um, this is this is the way the sat nav which happens to be working now and god don't ask me why what makes it work one day and not the next i have no idea whatsoever so i'm uh, at the intersection of Kaneta road and the b1 to mount gambia and clearly there's some rain ahead of me so just uh, stop to get all my gear on in preparation for that. Uh, it's uh, pretty dry, I must say, after riding in that gale force wind and the bucketing rain. So, um, that's all I've got to do today to stay dry. Dry equals warm. So, that's my mantra for the next while while I ride through the rain I did get the, the WD-40 out and just spray it around the bike a bit because yesterday in the in the when it was really raining hard and I was riding through a lot of spray from vehicles coming either way 98 kilometers to Mount Gambia um, yeah yesterday the bike just missed a couple of times, missed a couple of beats and um, that's always very worrying when you've had the kind of drama that I've had with this bike so I just thought I'd get the WD-40 out, spray it around a bit before I get into this wet weather now so let's see how I do um, I'm on my, I'm in Mount Gambia right now and uh, heading toward the South Australian border with Victoria uh, I've got a full tank had a bit of a scare earlier on <laughs> oh god I thought I was on my main tank which gives me about you know 300 kilometer range maybe just under 280 thereabouts anyway And, uh, and, uh, I don't know, about 40 kilometers back, 30 kilometers back, um, the bike just died. And I thought, what the hell's going on there? And, uh, turns out that, uh, I was on the tank under the seat, not the main tank, which has only got about 130 to 150 kilometer range. So I ran out of fuel, but it wasn't a good feeling because I, I thought, no, it can't be out of fuel because I'm on the main tank and that's got plenty in it. So I, it stopped on the side of the road, stopped on the side of the road, and I took the cap off the main tank and it was full to the brim still. So I'd been, straight away I realised I'd been riding on the um, tank under the seat. Big, big sigh of relief. Anyway, so I just had a cup of coffee here in Mount Gambia and uh, 
quite a nice pasty, I must say, um, at the bakery. And, um, and then uh, I'll ride out of town. Um, quite chilly. One of, a guy at the um, service station uh, filled up. He said it's nine degrees out right now, which I can believe. It's um, it's pretty fresh. You can see these flags are are blowing. It's, it doesn't take much of a breeze to slow this machine down. So any breeze is not a good thing if it's into me. So, oh, I've just crossed the border into Victoria and um, intercom failed. Try again later. So that's another milestone um, uh, as far as this ride is concerned. It's uh, the final uh, state or territory that I'll be in on my loop around. Um, and the only one I'm not seeing on mainland um, Australia is I won't be going to the ACT, but um, this is the final uh, state and I'm basically going to have ridden through them all from one end to the other effectively and uh, so yeah quite an accomplishment uh, just to get this far around again and uh, yeah I'm grateful for this these trees that I'm riding through because they're serving as a windbreak um, sometime as a wind tunnel but mainly as a windbreak for this wind that I'm contending with today. So, um, yeah, it's, it's quite welcome. Righty-ho, well, um, I'm just uh, riding in, as you can see by the sign on the left here, into Port Ferry, um, which is the end of my day's ride today. Uh, let's see if I can see what time. Oh, that's just gone two o'clock, ten past two-ish, and um, so yeah, it's kind of been a, a mixed day from you know, I guess clear skies to this patchy rain. It's been blowing for most of the the ride, and. Um, which, you know, on this bike is always an issue. But, um, yeah, I've gotten here at last, so I can't complain about that. Now I'm supposed to go straight ahead here, and the road's been closed, so I've got to do it another way. But according to the sat-nav, I should have gone that way, and I'm going to go right over here. Um, I've turned off, I've disconnected the bloody Bluetooth from this sat-nav because it is so irritating, it's unbelievable the number of times it gives you these instructions and when you're listening to an audio book it blares in and it cuts it out and, and um, it just interrupts everything so I've disconnected it and uh, um, I just from now on going to use uh, a visual navigation rather than having this thing blaring into my bloody ears all the time. So I'm at the Central Motel here in Port Piri tonight. Thanks for indicating mate. And um, uh, so there's a fair bit around here, it's just around the next traffic circle and then I arrive there. So there's bakeries and restaurants, there's the pub. Uh, so yeah, this is a nice little place, Port Ferry. I've been here once before when I did a ride along the Great Ocean Road on my, um, on my RT. And, uh, now, I've got to look out for this smoke. There it is. Oh, okay, too easy. 